Sometimes you get bad TV shows, like the Halo series. Then you get good TV shows, like Dark. And there are TV shows that are in the middle, like the Fallout TV show. And then you get stuff like Velma, that can only be described as advanced autism, honestly. I have finally, after watching four episodes of season two, figured out how to actually convey how absolutely repugnant, repulsive, and unlikable this show is. And it is, my god, one of the worst things I have ever seen in my life. If season one was already bad, then season two just dials everything up to 11. There is no more masks. All the masks are off. It is pure self-inserting by our absolutely lovable and completely not repugnant showrunner. This woman right here. Velma is needless to say a complete self-insert. And if in season one it was minorly contained how much self-inserting there is, even though it was very clear that, you know, I mean, you have eyes, right? Yeah, it's that obvious. In season two, it's completely mask off. Everything is a self-insert. Every plot point in this show on season two is some kind of dumb self-insert. The plot is non-existent. Not that it existed too much, honestly, in season one. But in season two, uh, the plot literally doesn't exist. And for one, that's actually a good thing, because my god, would this be worse if there was even an attempt at creating a cohesive plot. And so, we, uh, we will begin. Everything here is an absolute self-insert from the author. And my favorite character now is, by the way, Fred. Because he is what you would get in a movie, like Idiocracy. Which is hilarious, in my opinion. He is perfect. And this is, I think, the biggest fail that the show does. Because Fred is, an essen uh, is essentially an insert of what the author the showrunner of Velma thinks about white people in general and pretty much almost anything she does not like. And the way that season two is structured is absolutely, it's just blissful ignorance and blissful idiocy, okay? Because this show is made by a person, this person yet again, and she thinks that she is special. She thinks that she is smart. This is what happens when someone literally sniffs their farts too much. And this woman has probably been doing that from day one when she was born. It is absolutely repulsive. And the show completely perfectly illustrates that. So let's go by character. Uh, so, so first of all, white men have absolutely no problems in their lives. Everything that they do is just granted to them. Exactly not the same way that everything in her life was granted to her because uh, the only reason she has gotten jobs in Hollywood is literally because she's non-white. And I'm not kidding. If you look into her backstory and her accomplishments, it is literally, hey, DUI, baby, what a time to be alive. And she completely completely played it perfectly and by play it i mean she did nothing she just literally got opportunity after after opportunity because one she's in hollywood two she's non-white uh three she probably very actively tells people on a regular basis how much he ha she hates them because you know reasons yeah it, it, it is truly something special and the funniest part is she thinks she's really smart. She probably thought that whenever she's making Velma, that she is making the next Rick and Morty. This is the next Futurama. This is the Archer that we all desire to continue, okay? That is probably, unironically, the, uh, the mindset that she had, and it shows. So, Fred is used to co convey everything she thinks is stupid in life. And then other characters are used to convey what she thinks matters in life. And this creates a very interesting ju juxtaposition. And this completely shows how absolutely ludicrously insane this person is and out of touch. No, seriously, she could be arguably the most out of touch person that anyone has seen in quite a long time, okay? Man, the Witcher writers are probably way more in touch than she is. So let me let me give a couple of examples what she does with Fred. First, he becomes religious. 
And then she tries to mock. I'm not sure if she's actually going to mock Christianity or religion just in general, but she picked Christianity here specifically. But I'm not sure it's just an attempt at Christianity or religion in general to, uh, to mock it. Because it's all kind of generalized. It's not actually, oh, this is a Christian thing and this should be mocked, but it's kind of like generalized. That's why I'm saying this. And the funny part is she's trying to use Fred as a tool to highlight how stupid, wrong, and dumb everyone who follows a religion is in general. And she does it by the most hilarious things ever. By making Fred an actual understandable and relatable character, because he conveys all of the things that 99% of religious people even find absolutely blatantly insane. For example, a couple of things that she gets to, haha, look at this, this is so bad that people do this, is like, one of the jokes, ah, if the church uh, taught me anything, it's not, it's to trust everything blindly. An obvious mockery of faith, right? But anyone who just trusts shit blindly, is it from religion, is it from science, is it from anything? We make fun of those people in general. But she actually intends this to be like a big thing that you, you're supposed to hate it, right? <laughs> that you're supposed to dislike it. And in her worldview, this is everyone who, you know, just follows religion in general. You're just idiots. And this is you. Even though she is complete, since she's completely out of touch, she doesn't understand that this is like less than 1% of average religious people who literally are going to make a hissy fit when you say, uh, shouldn't you actually think about something? No, blind fate. So, it's hilarious. And there's a lot of things, even outside of religion, just again, uh, how everything just gets granted to uh, males, because they're male in general for free. It is pretty hilarious. And, you know, that's just, that, that's just one example. So, that's her view on, you know, religion and whatnot. And then there's the most hilarious thing. A uh, new insert character who goes by the they, them pronouns or whatever. I always, I didn't even notice this at first because uh, it, it just sounded stupid. The dialogues sound in general stupid, so I didn't even notice this. I only figured this out that they, uh, there's a they, them character when someone pointed this out to me. I didn't even notice it because the dialogues just sound dumb in general. So I'm not sure if they're just using improper English. Who honestly knows, right, at this point? So there's that character, and the reason I uh, highlight Fred is because this is the juxtaposition. Religion is fucking dumb, okay? That's, that's the message we get here. Science is supposed to be the big thing, because Velm is all about rational mindset that's governed by science and blah, blah, blah. All of that crap, you know, that annoys people in general. And then we have... The god, they, them, binary, I, I don't even know, zizur type of creature feature that's really ugly, obviously. Because, you know, reasons, obviously. Um, and she manifests things, okay? She literally embodies the woman's idea of, uh, yes, what I am looking for in life has a 0.0001 probability of actually happening, but I will manifest it through concentration and spirituality and shit. And the showrunner obviously believes in that crap and believes that manifestation is real, so it's made real in the show. Manifestation actually works in the show, and it's not something that you should laugh about because manifestation is real. Religion is dumb, and you should feel dumb for, you know, thinking it's not dumb, but manifestation... That's the realest thing ever. It, it is just crazy. Because she she considers herself smart and scientific and whatnot, but manifestation is this real thing that everyone should believe. Because again, the whole show in season two is just a giant self-insert and an explanation of what she thinks about life. If season one was kind of a self-insert and it was toned down, again, season two is just an absolute 11 out of 10 when it comes to self-inserting and, you know, everything that she believes to, uh, to be shown. It is absolutely crazy. 
Uh, Daphne serves, I guess, no real purpose. Velma becomes a popular girl. I'm pretty sure it's just reliving her fantasies of wanting to be popular in school, but she wasn't because she was an outcast, because her views were absolute, you know, retardation. And then she becomes a popular girl like Velma, and then she has all of these perks and blah 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 and whatnot. And uh, popular kids are obviously all evil, bad people who don't care about anything and they just do things because they're popular and whatnot. So, you know, again, a deconstruction of what she believes is popularity in general. Uh, then Fred actually stops becoming religious when he understands that, you know, they take taxes, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, Velma's mom bangs... None of these are Velma's mom, by the way. Velma's mom uh, bang, uh, bangs Fred's dad, and they enjoy being rich. And, you know, richness changes people. That's only the only thing I probably agree as much as I saw it, that, that the richness changes people. But that that's actually not the point. Th you would initially think, by watching this show, that you think uh, one, one episode is dedicated to the fact that people change when, be, when they become rich. But since Velma is a self-insert of the author, she rejects being changed by money. She is so much better than everyone else. She rejects money changing her. She, re uh, she is going to continue be being that special, special snowflake on the block that does everything perfect and has the right values. It is absolute insanity. Every character in some way here just represents on the author's self-insert and thoughts about how the world is and how the world should be, what's right, what's wrong, what's smart, what's stupid. No, but seriously, what gets me is the fact that if you think religion is real, it's stupid, uh, but manifest manifesting things because you think about them are real that absolutely just gets me how can you be that brain damaged in one sentence is it's honestly beyond me it's completely beyond me and then there's something about accepting people for who they are but no not really because people should be like you want them to be and that's also a giant takeaway because Daphne tries to be find herself and find the real you but Velma obviously knows better who she is so uh she needs to fix her <laughs> it's it, it is crazy it is just this whole show is a complete fever dream of someone who probably thinks that they have an IQ of 300 and when they got tested they were, they were below 90 and that obviously is a mistake because an IQ of her level cannot be even calculated by modern means. That's probably and ironically what she thinks. And you know what's one of my favorite parts? When Velma season 1 was coming out, she was... She was really advertising it. She was tweeting. She was doing all of this garbage, right? Then it came out and everyone obviously hated her. And there are two options here. Either she is emotionally crushed because no one likes her masterpiece and now she understands, wait a minute, maybe my views on reality are complete dog water. Or maybe she's doubling down because she thinks at this point, ah, people are just too stupid to understand my genius. And I got like six more episodes of Velma to watch. Man, it, it is hilarious. I think you don't need to show the name. I think I'm not already showing the name. Uh, you can see almost my toolbar above there. It's fine. No one cares. Anyway, uh, that's it. Velma season 2 is what you get when someone thinks that they are the smartest person in the universe. They know everything that is right, that is wrong. And they make no sense and it's painfully, blatantly, absolutely visible. Wow. It is just sadness. In its, in its highest form. If season 1 was kind of funny because I could actually at moments chuckle... Because th there was a question. Is this an over-exaggeration of X or Y reason? And then it kind of was funny because, you know, maybe it's the right reason why this is this is made. Uh, but in season two, no, you, you completely understand. This is all a self-insert and a glorified recreation of uh, Mrs. I'm so special uh, understanding of how life is and what life should be like. And, you know, how she's the perfect 
creature in the world. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sin 7. <laughs> Bye.